Hello, Galaxy of Heroes. Let me turn that volume up a bit. Uh, so, as you can see, this is Rebel Roundup, I believe. And as you can see, I have yet to achieve three star. But I got excited, giggity, um, after the first one and having four standing and thought, you know what, let's try this, see whether or not we can get the uh, the old turn meter train rolling because if we can then we should be able to survive this round and if we can survive this round this basically is the the make or break of the entire run um so yeah i thought i'd have another go and as you can see we're all there we're all getting health up um and of course every time that we kill someone we regenerate health and protection. And we're getting turn meter ter uh, RNG or whatever. Turn meter proc. I don't know. We're getting turn meter. Yes, that meter is turning official. So, um, how are we doing this or whatever? Or how am I now able to achieve this? And the answer is a uh, dude in the furry white suit at the back aka range trooper aka my boots stick to the tops of trains funky dude yes finally uh i don't know if i did the gearing up i, I must admit I've, I've kind of with with relics and them not being able to decide where relics end uh i don't tend to do much in the way of gearing up now i used to do a lot of like gearing up to 11 and 12 and whatnot but not so much now so i can't even recall whether or not i did a gearing up video for my range trooper but as you can well as you saw at the beginning i believe if you didn't my range trooper is now relic two um i believe i could be wrong i believe viz stark and Death Trooper, a Relic 3, and Pi TT, or Admiral Piet, however we say his name, is Relic 5. Uh, the only reason that he's a higher Relic is because uh, he was a requirement for, I'm guessing, um, dude that likes getting tossed over balconies, or aka um, Palpatine, Sidious, uh, Sith Eternal, Emperor, you name it, he's got a title for it apparently. So, yes, I think that's what it was. If I'm wrong, apologies. But for whatever reason, I needed to get him up to there. Um, so, yes. Yeah, because it's not him for the thing, is it? Yeah, no, don't worry. I'm just, I'm, don't worry. <laughs> I was trying to work out there whether it was a shippy thing, but it's not a shippy thing. So this is the squad that I opted to go for, uh, Death Trooper for the, the Death Mark, and also the fact that we're facing loads of Rebels, and Death Trooper double taps Rebels, and if they've got a buff on them, then he stands a high chance of applying um, Stun or whatever for a turn. So that comes in quite handy. I must admit, the, um, the little buffy thing on the right-hand side, the gun seems to work fairly well okay i haven't done bounty hunters as much because i've got my imperial troopers kind of rolling now and, and i'm enjoying imperial troopers moff gideon will be joining them at some point but at the current he or at present he is only four star gear 11 he does have his unique zeta i'm not sure if i've done his lead or not um no, I haven't. I was I'm in an R in on who to put it on to. Because the other one I was looking at is I've got a five star armor. Um whether or not to slap the old uh, Zeta there or not. But I'm waiting for the outcome after uh, it was highlighted that there was uh mechanics going on that weren't or shouldn't be the additional buffs on everyone so i'm hanging tight on my zetas uh whilst watching here so we're up to five of eight um 
always astounds me just how tanky these final characters seem to be. You know, it's like you keep hitting them and bugger all happens for ages and ages and ages. And then eventually you seem to get a, a decent crit and boom. But saying that, I, I also, I, 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 I try as, as much as possible to basic uh near the end um when there's only a few of them left as long as they're not a threat character um just to reset the cooldowns so that's that's what this is all about well he says that's what it was about um i was a bit apprehensive because of the final round and whether or not I was going to get to uh, tier 8 or phase 8 and and fall flat on my face. Uh, so I'm trying to get into the habit of basicking as soon as I can. To, oh, pardon me. To just uh, ensure that cooldowns are fully reset. Uh, yeah, to enable me to use all abilities at the start of the rounds so where are we here this is we've got rid of the two main ones we've got rid of the the taunting carpet he's jogged on um so now it's just a case of moving around and yes it takes a while to get rid of these ones so i've done the death mark there as you see death mark i must admit is like a hot knife through butter yes so uh yeah they still take a while and i think i was starting to get a little bit frustrated but if you get an assist with death trooper of course you get the stun again so uh it's uh yeah luck of the draw on who assists because there's the percentage charge chance even of assists taking place sorry i'm just padding this out for the final final round because we're there and now we are just kind of just going as you can see just doing the basics basic 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 cool down reset cool down reset cool down reset tally ho final encounter so my personal preference here is to get rid of the fat bird sorry uh for asako asak asoko tana fulcrum fulcrum asoko tana hence fat yeah aft fat whatever um atf uh yeah get rid of her because she can do a lot of damage um if ignored and you know not many people like to be ignored she's trying to hide away in the corner but na 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 nobody puts the fat bird in the corner yeah sorry i'm really plagiarizing movies here very old movies uh so we're down to the rebel officer and kapow yay that's it and this is the first time i have actually completed this challenge Thank you for watching.